All right, everybody clap. All right, fuck the sink. All right. <laughs> Jesus. All right, tell me when you're... Oh, oh we've been rolling. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> you motherfucker. Okay, welcome to At Least We Tried. And today we're going to be talking about the Rev shit. And maybe we might dive into a little bit of the Will, uh, Wilbur shit. But yeah, well, today we're going to be just be chatting <laughs> up, hanging with the homies. Let's, let's get into this. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, Leia, you said you may have a hot take on the Rev versus Darcy shit. What do you, what do you have to say about that? So, I, I feel like... Darcy shouldn't be paid back. Like Ooh. Darcy's just dumb for That's giving Rev like six thousand dollars. Like you can't, you can't. I get like you're trying to help somebody out, but they, they just, they're just straight up taking advantage of you. Mm -hmm. mm. And like Darcy's just like, okay, well they'll be my friend if I buy them stuff. And that's just that's pretty sad. No, it is really sad. I mean, uh, I, I wait. Were you gonna say, Burn? Sorry. Uh, well, according to like last night, like a lot of things last night on Send Stream, lot, like a lot of things opened up, like eye opening shit from Rev. I mean, he didn't really deny or confirm the fact that like him and like his ex wife, Broadsword, were sending pictures to Darcy of empty fridges and cupboards for <laughs> begging Darcy for food for their family. Oh my God. I didn't even Saying, know like, what happened. <laughs> It wasn't, guys. It wasn't me. It was my wife. But even then, we needed food. It's like, <laughs> and our, come on, it's, it's our Christmas is ruined. Or, or yeah, Christmas. That one, that one too. Or like, like fucking somehow Christmas is ruined because Darcy wasn't sending money or some I'm bullshit. You, oh yeah, that you, was completely emotional. Only put out to keep the money train flowing into the household. I'm yeah. standing um, by that. I'm standing. How long I do think you, so? How long do you think this uh? This uh, tr these transactions have been going uh through. Probably a, at least like um Maybe six months. Year. Yeah, I would say even a year. Damn. You think over a year of accumulation of uh up to six thousand dollars? Well, no, it was in two months. It was six grand, right? Well, yeah, because apparently, according to the screenshots, Ember, well, Ember got from Darcy. Mm -hmm. This is like weekly three three hundred dollar payments, bro. Yeah, weekly three hundred dollar payments. That's a, that. And that's uh, a, uh, and according to Ember and Darcy last night, Ember they sent another thirty to three hundred dollar to uh, Rev, and then it so was accepted. What's, even though, what's Rev, do, even what's though do, Rev, hold on, even though Rev said, "Oh yeah, I closed out my bank account last week on Turd Island," so how is he still getting the money if he quote unquote closed down his account? So the. <laughs> The Jewish person got their calculator out. Three three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars uh a week. That's USD. That's USD, yeah. remember. That's twelve hundred. And then if we think or we sus suspect that the these transactions have been happening for like a year, that's fourteen thousand dollars. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Fourteen thousand four hundred. Okay. That's a lot of money. And then you calculate that to uh, Australian dollars. So, because uh, Darcy is from Australia. Um, oh, yeah. You have to yeah. kind of do that conversion to where it is more expensive for uh, Darcy to be sending this money than it would be in, like, U.S. But well, I don't uh, even know how Darcy has all this money. They don't look like they're the working because type. Because Australia has <laughs> so, this great unemployment thing for people with disabilities. Australian <laughs> dollars would be twenty two thousand. Twenty two thousand. Yeah, but that's over. Year. That's uh, that's a month, right? For that's, the whole year. For the whole year, but yeah. everything accumulates up to six thousand dollars. So, so would so have for, to have been going on longer. So for so maybe, a month. Let's see. Twelve hundred a month. Yeah, up so, to six k. Well, the confirmed that's amount. Yeah, the confirmed amount is six thousand thirty dollars now. Because either it was three hundred or thirty. Ember didn't really give like a good answer to that because the screenshot that Ember sent last night was three hundred, when 
she also said it was thirty dollars. Wait, anyway, wait, 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 hold on. That was because they were checking if the bank account was the bank account was still closed, and that if uh, um, that uh. Rev shut off his account or didn't was denying payment, but with those screenshots uh, that we got, and and if anybody really wants the screenshots, I guess I mean they're I I, I guess you can ask me from, but mm-hmm. they um they were all accepted. The transactions were yeah. Really so he did why are you action. showing your calculator? Look, guys, I did math. Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go star. What's the ratio? <laughs> well, on wait, this? hold on, so, hold on. What's the ratio? <laughs> <laughs> so it had to have been actually so if they're saying it's 300 a week right so it would have been three months at least three, three months. months of payments three months yeah. of payment uh, that's just off the top of my top of my head yeah. just doing some math real quick especially so it had to have been at least three uh three months or two and a and, half months and especially around. around the christmas time because that's when broad so that, that's why okay. that's when broadsword was mega begging for money wait like, wait christmas. cheers cheers finally cheers my horse cheers Cheers, so, my horse, no pedo. Not my yeah, no, no homo. <laughs> no homo. Uh, so I'm like, so we all agree is oh at least these transactions have been occurring for at least three months. Oh, yeah. at least, yeah. if but not more. Minimum. So they would have to have been in like, so if the uh, the Christmas shit yeah. would have to have been like around the November area where this shit started, and like heading on to now. So like, if Rev is still able to take uh payments um how much do we actually know because like at the same time darcy isn't really a um reliable narrator so no. that's where it's just kind of like i would want rev side but from what rev was like coming at me last night it shows that these this context that he's he's speaking of right this one-sided narrative is bullshit because if you were if you it was so one-sided it was such a one-sided narrative that ember's trying to push it he's trying to push it all on ember by the way yeah he's yeah. all trying to shove ember under the bus being like oh you're running this one-sided narrative where all of commentary is is running with this and all this is and that and i'm like no bro if you show me the evidence or context that you're speaking of and it makes yeah. you look better i will take your side but you have shown me nothing and you refuse you yeah. absolutely refuse multiple times to to send me evidence or this context that you're speaking of. So I, I think, autom- automatically think you are the wrong in this situation. You're so, I think, fucking retarded. I, I think the words that he was saying is that, like, he doesn't have to prove anything or something. Yeah, bullshit. but that's, that's, that's already, that's <laughs> like, immediately, why, I think, immediately I think, like, why should I prove bus? myself right to you guys? Exactly. You guys already have a different yeah. narrative. Because so, you have a problem with, with what's being said right now, Rev. That's why you need to prove yourself. So with the payment, Darcy definitely made a payment last night to mm-hmm. Rev. Wait, what? Yes. Mm-hmm. To check and see yes. if. Okay. Oh. So oh, normally oh, for like, normally for like a payment to get returned from a bank, it takes like seven to ten business days. Like the bank will receive the payment, and then they'll look up the account information and move the money to the account. So if like if it comes back in like a week. Right, and the, the money is returned back to Darcy's account, and we are we're just gonna have to take Darcy's word for it. Um, then well, yeah, why like, why the, should we? The take account is I have an it. idea, Darcy. Well, you're watching because this. give me access to your bank account, your login ID and password, and okay, I'll, well, I'll check <laughs> for you. Right? Yeah. Like, give us your pin number. <laughs> like All right, that. I'm gonna post. I'm gonna but see if I can get these I guys will a screenshot. Say, though, you call Darcy dumb or whatnot if you want, but I do say I do see Darcy as someone who was kind of a real friend and kind of got yeah. lied to. You know, I'm not gonna lie. They were being real. To. And um, I made a joke about Final Fantasy VII, and Darcy uh-huh. hit me up and goes, "Uh, if you can't afford the video game now." I'm sure we can work something out later so you can still play it. And I was like, oh, I was a little oh. trolling. He thought about it. But I was like, <laughs> well, I, 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 shit, like, I'm Darcy, pretty okay, sure. Thanks. I'm pretty sure they're like somewhat autistic. So maybe I mean, they don't yeah, get social. Cues. Obviously. I mean, but, sorry. Sorry, Darcy. If you watch this, I'm, I'm not trying to like shit on you. But yeah, you're like we're not autistic. trying. But to I was me. like, I was like, there's no way they didn't take her kindness for weakness or his kindness for weakness. Excuse me. 
fucking know. I'm uh, check and side chat. I'm about to post something in side chat. Uh, this is the. Uh, oh, I can check side don't... chat live. This is the screenshot of oh, no, the it's, it's transactions actually... going through the other day. This oh. is about a day or two ago. She could have sent four dollars. Okay, so is it a day or two? So, <laughs> I, like, okay, so who do we believe when it comes to Rev or Darcy? Like, to be honest, I think Rev. I honestly think Rev has a motive to lie, and he's already been like he's already been caught. Like, yeah, I guarantee yeah. you had had Ember not done the Turd Island, where and I. I will say I wish it was somebody else that was doing <laughs> confronting Rev on the Turd Island, like Flatley or somebody that knew what the fuck they were doing. Yeah. But it was <laughs> Ember. Had Ember actually not confronted, um, wait, I Rev, do think Ember did a we, good job. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna say that I, I did yeah. think Ember did a good job of um, so what the presenting yeah. the information. No, I get it. it, and you know I might have a biased opinion because I don't really like Ember, so. Mm -hmm whatever but anyways had ember not confronted rev yeah. we would have still not known about the six thousand dollars and i think darcy would have still been paying them for sure like i God. i think rev would have been more than happy to go on the internet and say oh you know darcy is just a shit person but continue to take money from them i and, and i is this three hundred dollars does go through how much do you want to bet rev is going to spend it oh 100 300 you think he's gonna a shit ton of beer bro you think he's gonna send it back no, no. yeah no, no. Would, and he well, even if you, would you, he, even at the end of his it, at the end of his segment on turd island he literally just said no and that was it that's why i ended my i ended my video or the coverage of the whole situation at that because that was it he he literally that's his statement what everybody wanted from him he's not yeah. gonna do it he doesn't want to do it understandable i kind of get it in some form or fashion i do because it's probably already spent there's no way he's he's gonna be able to pay six thousand dollars off in a, in a reasonable time that is ridiculous on anybody's standards uh, yeah. unless you're making a really good income you know what mm. i mean so um i completely understand that that where he's coming from on there uh but this whole situation is on Darcy and Rev and Broadsword. I do want to bring Broadsword to this because I do definitely feel like Broadsword was part of the emotional uh, manipulation that was going into all of this. I, I think it was oh, both, definitely. both of them. I don't think yeah. it was Rev. Well, according to Rev, you know, take this with a grain of salt. Well, because Ember, Ember and Darcy exposed the, the uh, screenshots, but mm -hmm. Ember... He said that Broadsword was sending pictures of empty fridges and cardboards yes. to Darcy begging for food. So, like, you know, mm. oh, my, my family can't eat right now. Could you please send us some money? It's like I'm tearing on the heartstrings of Darcy to send him more money so they can fill the fucking fridges. Yeah. But but make it clear that I don't I, I just want to make this clear. I do not feel bad for Darcy. Because they continue to send six thousand dollars to these people. All right. There is a it, there is a limit where you have to support yourself and like yeah. not be supporting a whole mm -hmm. other fucking family. And that should be click for okay, I'm not, it may have clicked for most of us in this call, maybe, right? Yeah. It may have clicked for most of us. We're supporting a whole other family. I can't do this, right? No. Maybe that didn't click for Darcy because they were in this emotional um relationship with people that she thought uh, or he thought uh cared about them and it i mean turned out to darcy be darcy thought rev was actually in love with him so mm -hmm. and i mean rev did say that they loved him as a person the being the person you know the human and that was the title of the last episode that's yeah what's shitty though is just like darcy I, because i legitimately i i don't like darcy I yeah, no I either. Darcy is manipulative. Darcy is a doxer. Darcy is just like the worst person ever, right? Mm -hmm. But I I feel bad when I look at Darcy and I see that they wanted Rev, like they legit cared about Rev. Yeah, and they yeah. Legit, it seemed to me like 
there was an attraction there. And the fact that like Rev is just like feeding into it and can, and like just saying, Oh, I love you. Mm -hmm. It's just like, you're leading that person on and that mm -hmm. that's what makes you shitty. Yeah. And I, and, and that, that type of shit really hurts. It really even like, and even adding in the financial side, like that even hurts even more. That's like more of an impact, more of a, more hurt because you like you put your living your your yeah. living into somebody else and like they didn't reciprocate nor appreciate that in the form of manner that and, they should have and you gotta like think like february 1st you know when flatly recorded that call with rc evans dude like rev came off so like boastful that he knew the situation more than everyone else mm -hmm. i mean it turns out he was right you know because yeah. He was directly involved in what happened, but <laughs> and Ember asked him a single question, and Rev fucking went off his rocker, and Darcy started talking to Ember. Yeah. But he blames Ember for talking to her and not them in November, and already Ember proved like there was nothing talking. I mean, no one, not even, like even Darcy and Rev and um, Sen's chat was saying like I didn't talk to anyone about this until now. Mm -hmm. So what? like, so Ember didn't dig up this shit back in November. Like Rev is trying to like put Rev is literally trying to put this all on Ember. Yeah. So <laughs> well, he... Ember's the one that told Rev to ask for the money. Yeah. <laughs> I actually do Dude, it's have all confirmation. A conspiracy. I do have a confirmation <laughs> that uh the whole shit started at the beginning of uh not this month because it's the first right yeah not the first February. of last month right yep. uh this conversation started between ember and darcy the first of last month yeah and it and, was initiated by darcy yeah and i i will legit okay so the initiation by darcy like that's a tell all right there like that's that's period okay point, point ember period. like yeah that that rev shouldn't be continuing to question it especially when there's proof that darcy initiated the conversation exactly. like that's the that's the smoking gun right there but i'm gonna take it like one step further and kind of go out on a limb for ember right here ember has always been close with darcy so like when rev is just like well you're you're digging around in my life or you're just doing this just to cause drama e ember and darcy have always been talking mm -hmm. they've always have and, and the only reason why i know that is because like when i was going through the stuff with like parking tigers and hugin and i did my parking okay. tigers is a liar mclyerson stream and hugin is a liar mclyerson stream mm -hmm. i knew for a fact darcy and and ember lily were like talking behind the scenes so it's just like there's it just to go at Ember and be like, oh, well, you're just you're just doing this just to dig into my life or just to start shit. No, mm -hmm. it's not that it literally isn't that. And no. I, I think it's hilarious that Rev is just like uh, he's morally grandstanding over everyone. And it's like you can't even take accountability for yourself. Exactly. Wait, didn't didn't Rev said that you were a moral grandstander, Leia? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I don't even think we need to get into that. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> Since we've been having this whole conversation, I don't think Ant has really put in his his two cents on the situation. So I do definitely think that Ant, you have the floor. Give your opinion on this whole situation. Since it has been like kind of a shut case, I I do want to understand. Yeah. What, your perspective what is, is what is the stash <laughs> thing? The stash? What do you mean the stash? Yeah. Thing? <laughs> I'm fucking twirling like a villain here. Uh, um. So I don't know much about the situation. I've kind of just been a viewer, but um, I, so that's why I've been kind of quiet because I don't want to say something that makes you sound fucking dumb. But I think they're both fucking brain dead motherfuckers. I mean, why would you fucking send money to anybody over the, over the internet? That's like, as like a, I don't know. I just think that like that, like I think there's a difference between like commissioning something and like you know getting something out of it, like because you're paying for something. But so sending somebody fucking money over the internet, I think is fucking stupid. Uh, yeah. So I think they're both fucking brain dead, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much my take. Uh -huh. <laughs> they're both fucking brain uh, dumb motherfuckers. They got brain worms, bro. Brain, brain worms. worms. Yeah. Fucking head cancer, exactly. bro. Head cancer. <laughs> <laughs> head cancer. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Uh. Um, yeah, I like L L Darcy for sending money, L Rev for accepting it. Like mm-hmm. Rev, just stop lying. Just mm-hmm. stop because it's not it's not helping you. If if we find out in a week that this three hundred dollars that Darcy sent like two days ago or, or even last night supposedly, if that does not get returned, like your ass is grass. And the only reason why your ass is grass is because you lied on Turd Island. You said that you closed the account, that the account is closed. Darcy can't send any money anymore. And they're actually testing it to see if money is sent. Like, yeah, just stop lying. Just take accountability. Yeah. Tell your ex-wife to get a fucking job. <laughs> like, I, I get I get life is hard, but Jesus Christ, you guys need to grow the fuck up. Like, I, I've never Aww. seen so many people like or, or two people so financially irresponsible <laughs> never in my life have i ever have i ever imagined taking picture of empty cabinets or an empty fridge and be like oh my family doesn't have food can you feed me yeah can you send money it's one thing to be like i'm struggling right now there's there's, there's this this and this going on right but it's another thing to be like yeah. Oh, look at my refrigerator. Look at my cabinets. Look, my kids aren't gonna have a good Christmas this year. Yeah. That's Not another Christmas. story. I just no. there. It's it, <laughs> it's straight up taking advantage of Darcy, and it's straight up emotionally manipulating Darcy. Hey, and that, Darcy gave those kids a Christmas. Part. All right. Yeah, Not Santa right Darcy. Santa Darcy. And Darcy. I, I just want to. I just want to state this off because I know Rev is going to watch this because I know he's been watching cup, the last couple. Wait, before episodes. you get into that, do you think? <laughs> most uh, flatly, most flatly, please cut this this section out. No. All right, cut this section out. No, it stays cut it in. Down. Cut this section out. Mr. Flatly, don't give in. Don't give in. Transparency. Give in. We got to be transparent. <laughs> got it. I'm just, no, there, there's I'm no kidding, editing here. I'm, I'm, ki- <laughs> I'm kidding, Kazonic. I know. Um. So I. <laughs> What? Stop laughing, you, motherfucker. Stop laughing. Okay, all right. So, Ant, you probably know more about the Wilbert situation or oh, Leia. I know you guys have... Uh, I think you guys have both kind of looked into this situation. And yeah. So I'm not I no too... Idea. I'm, I actually have no, almost no idea what's going on. I know that there is some, like, uh, um, maybe some, um, like some weird uh, sexual uh, SA shit involved ooh, or, or something around that, that right. lines, right? So, yeah. I, 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 would you like to take the floor and kind of explain sure. what the situation yes. is? Yeah. So, I guess I guess how I'll start is how it really started was there's this person named Sh- Shelby Shovel. Uh, she made a live stream where she talked about an ex boyfriend of hers, didn't name who it was, but um, stated that this boyfriend would bite her as like a playful thing, and then it got to a point to where. He would bite her so hard that it would start to like leave bruises. So he, so they decided to make a safe word um, in order for so I like so she could stop. Yeah, so they like that, you know. <laughs> Pineapple juice. Um, but then apparently, I even after after a while, he would even after the safe word, he'll continue to bite harder. Um, so what the fuck? yeah, it was fucking weird. And there was oh, also. <laughs> He was also uh, accused that he was also a filthy slob. Uh, apparently, he had mold growing in his house. He had a bunch of ants everywhere fucking in his house. Um, oh, they got he got ants would... fucking ants, bro. That's fucking weird. I know. It's fucking bizarre. Um, there was also apparently, like, there was the claim that, like, he pissed on the fucking toilet seat. It would make her fucking clean it up and Sit was intentionally it, doing it. Like, so they fucking weird like that. Anyway, but like, he was like kind of a piece of shit. A dog cage the basement with a <laughs> what? Mattress. Okay, heard, what the fuck are you talking I heard about? <laughs> he made her eat meatloaf with turkey gravy out of a door bro. dish one time, bro. Bro, shit, oh my on god. The floor, no less. On the floor. Oh dude god. is guilty. Dude is freaking whatever, guilty. Whatever he did, just by looking at this dude, he, yeah. was, he, pop, he did that shit, bro. He did that shit. <laughs> look, just look at so, him. He did that shit. Will there's was also. A freak. There was, up, like, man? there was also like an accusation of financial abuse, which is basically they'll go out to eat and he'll say he'll pay for it, but then not pay for it and then say, I'll pay you like I'll pay your next, you know, ticket out because he lived in the UK. She lives in the US. Oh, um, my God. And said, but then it's like, did <laughs> it? Do. So, 
Yeah, so that was kind of the big situation. At the time, nobody knew who it was, but some people were at the time speculating it was this YouTuber named Wilbur Soot, who's who was a part of like the Dream SMP fucking Dream Minecrafter group. Um, okay. And eventually, yeah, about the barking, bro. Apparently bark? What are you fucking talking about? Bro, this You're just fucking making up shit. And bark, bro. <laughs> Shut up, bro. Uh, but yeah, so it kind of. To kind of, at first, a lot of people on Twitter were like speculating it was this worse than Wilbur, and I criticized that we shouldn't be speculating on who it is since she hasn't said it. And they, you know, and a lot of people were pointing to other clips of him biting other people as jokes, and other people said. saying that he was biting as jokes. Um, and then some people saying that you know his room was a mess, but then it kind of all kind of got most of it got confirmed when a um, when he came out on Twitter with his own statement where he said that. He was kind of a piece of shit. He was a slob. He was selfish. The and he was sorry for what he did. But he also said that the biting he believes was consensual. And apparently he had text messages that proving it. But he doesn't want to reveal it for the sake of the victim. <laughs> That's what yeah. he's. Which I think is fuck fucking off stupid. With that, bro. It's no, like no, if you're no. being accused no, of fucking yeah, abuse, fuck you that. should probably fucking reveal that shit. Yeah, like, like this is like not like, this guy's career is like on the line, bro. This people yeah. on Twitter are fucking like you know vicious dogs, mm -hmm. fucking ready right about fucking to bite this guy's head off <laughs> over dogs. everything. I mean, and yeah. he doesn't. Who gives a who gives a fuck about the privacy of the victim oh, if she's yeah. like yeah, engaging and like. Basically, life, like life ruination at this point, because that was like YouTube yeah. career and job is on the line. Mm, because right. yeah, and like recently, not good. Like recently, uh, she made a new response to his yeah. like yeah. apology, she where she admits trifling. to having fuck, but that she admits to having like memory loss. So like what? what? Like, after after arrest, yeah, some bullshit like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that she had memory loss. So, so I'm like, I what? After the breakup, she just magically remembered everything. I don't <laughs> so, know. I'm, I'm gonna be. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna have a total of a crime you don't remember. Shut the fuck up, flatly. <laughs> yeah, like you could magically just forget that on the application. Uh -huh. so, okay. Exactly. Let me let me play devil's advocate here. Okay. okay well, with devil's traumatic Avenue. event. With traumatic events, people tend to shun or forget those things in their mind to be able yeah. to help them get past that trauma. Know, Does it right? really help them? It just, uh, in the meantime, kind of helps them forget and like live their life. You know, it's kind yeah. of how the brain cleaning up, works. Cleaning up itself. piss is a big trauma, isn't it? That makes yeah. It, that, that... Regardless, I mean, <laughs> I, I, you never, you never really know sense. what's gonna traumatize someone. Every yeah, brain, you're not. Everybody's brain is different. I understand what you're saying, hundred percent. But like I Amber Heard. Amber Heard was traumatic. She was mm -hmm. she went through yeah. trauma. So and yeah. Johnny Depp is completely guilty. I, I I think oh, my big problem. I'm just my, kidding. <laughs> I think my big problem with this situation is that Shelby hasn't shown anything and Wilbur hasn't shown anything. So we just have two people saying that like you, you did this did. and you didn't and I did and now you didn't. It's just he said she said. And the amount of people who are jumping on Shelby's side and like burning the bridge and uh, with fucking uh, Wilbur, like some of the biggest creators, like fucking Dream. Man. Yeah, I saw Dream. <laughs> that was so Believe fucking funny. Like, all I victims. I do know of all people. Dream. Yeah, I know. It's like Dream. You literally got accused by multiple people of like all all, all kinds of heinous <laughs> shit, and you're not gonna give like this guy the fuck same charitability there. Uh, like it's no, literally cause... just he says she said i generally believe that dream is doing that because he wants to become uh he wants his fan base back and the best way is to fucking stroke their their dicks <laughs> and well, no, he's trying no, to be on the fuck that. No, dreams kids, always... bro, oh, no, no 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 dreams always been like this dreams always been like this okay yeah. yeah dream dreams always looked out for himself like I mean, mm -hmm. like, let's not forget about the John John Swan situation. You know, John <laughs> Swan was fucking wrong. Dream chimped out about the N word, bro. Well, I yeah. also think that he's doing <laughs> it to pander to his fans because the Dream and Minecraft fa fan base are fucking ridiculous. They're some of the most like fucking brain dead motherfuckers I've ever had a, a displeasure of meeting. Um, and they are like they're always been like the believe all like believe the victim first and then I have all that. I've been like there's one creator, um, like 
Tubbo, who's a big Minecraft creator, was like on his response to it as he used to be friends with Wilbur. Uh, now I was calling Wilbur an abuser. Um, is saying that um, was saying was getting like one of the things he said was like on like Wilbur's response is that dude, this is not about you to like about Wilbur. And I was like, motherfucker, he's being accused of fucking sexual yeah. sexual fucking abuse. Like I think about him. <laughs> I yeah, think Wilbur respond. <laughs> I think Wilbert's yeah. kind of doing the similar thing that Rev is yeah. doing, where mm -hmm. they're going to ask for evidence, right? Yeah. But they're unwilling to to provide the evidence that will exonerate them from these allegations that are getting mm -hmm. pressed against them, right? Yeah. And supposedly, supposedly, right? And so I, I don't want to make that clear I'm, because I'm I don't believe the these screenshots that Rev has will exonerate him. I think they'll make him worse. But I think these screenshots that Wilbur Wilbur <laughs> have may or may not because I don't know the whole situation. But if if these if he says they're like it is like not what it seems like, then he needs mm -hmm. to provide this evidence. Yeah. Right. That that will exonerate his name. Well, not to bring up Larix or anything. All oh the my people fucking that, god! Uh, Larix is a retard. He's been. Doing he this. is. He's been. He's been very biased. But all the like, he did that fucking like the debate stream where he was debating random Spurgs on Twitter. Yeah. All of them. All of them had the consensus of allegations are evidence. Yeah, <laughs> everyone. Everyone in this fucking community going to fucking this Shelby bitch. Is all flamencos. Everyone in that, all of them are flamencos. Bro, bring it, bro. All of them. Bring all of them shit. say, like, the allegations out there, therefore, yeah. is evidence. It's like, guy, okay. Flamenco was right after all. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I, I mean, one thing I will give Chris to fucking lyrics is that he's like, he, he says this, but he's like not picking a side and he's like, has a pro he's basically has the same like problem I do. But he would like label the fucking like streams, uh, or like say the streams are like this dumb bitch calling Shelby a dumb bitch and calls her nuts multiple times. I'm like, yeah, dude, I mean, like, you're like, get this right. Every you, you, YouTuber does this, right? Yeah. I do it with my videos. Aww. With my, my videos that I've hit over like a thousand, right? Woo. I always over exaggerate the situation because oh, yeah. that's what's going to bring in the viewers. That's right? what I do too. I like gaslighting. Yeah. I mean, I like telling the truth. <laughs> gaslight, no, bro. you're telling the truth. You're just over exaggerating it to make it seem more dramatized and you want to bring people in and i think every youtuber everyone in this call could admit to over dramatizing something oh, yeah and their titles or their thumbnails to bring in viewers that's a normal thing well yeah it was like it was even like lyrics tweets were like clearly on fucking wilbur's side but yeah. like that's my biggest criticism of lyrics is that he's he's his opinion is this but he's clearly leaning toward that shelby's a lying whore is basically and what, I, and, and I bet I, the fucking, and I think Reds do, because like, did you like not? Do you like not see what he's doing on Twitter right now? It's every day that he's lyrics. asking people to come onto his fucking stream. Yeah, because he, I mean, it's free fucking content to have fucking those people on. I mean, fuck. I mean, they're, they I mean, that's why like my videos have been doing well because a lot of people are fucking curious about the situation <laughs> on it. But um, I mean, I I really think it's a simple uh situation as um. As like we're waiting for evidence on both sides, and it's just so many people are jumping to Shelby's side first without waiting for more inf information. Because exactly. Shelby, it's literally just Shelby's testimony. Um, and I'm yeah. not saying like Shelby's a fucking lying whore. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that fucking that uh, she's telling the truth. I'm not saying that Wilbur's lying or telling the truth. It's like I'm. I need more information before I can willingly call somebody an abuser and a piece of exactly. shit. Now he did a confirm that he was slobbish and messy, and um, in his statement is very fucking vague. But you can call him a piece of shit for that. That's completely like I, that's understandable. But for like the actual physical abuse stuff, uh, he said that it was consensual, and he said he has evidence to prove it. But mm -hmm. she says yeah. that that does she doesn't have he he doesn't have that. So so you're like. It's kind of weird. It's just weird it, seeing the community or like that fucking the online community. It's not even just Minecraft community. Like there's so many different people who are so willing to call say fuck Wilbur Sut. He's an abuser. Um and jump on Shelby's side real quick. Uh so I think that's what, like my biggest cuz allegations oh, or evidence. Wait, do you guys bro? think it's one of those things where it's like hear me out now, hear me out. It's one of those things where they've been looking to dethrone this guy. 
Mm-hmm. So they're using mm-hmm. any bit that they can to gain traction to slander this guy. Kind of like what happened to AJ's here a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, whoa. What? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dude, maybe they tried to dethrone Dream, and they're like, "Okay, we can't get rid of this dude." So oh, then, the next guy. Let's go so to then fucking Wilbert. Wilbert. That's what I'm maybe, saying. maybe. So way to get him out. I mean, but at the same time, is this seems like just a thing with like, um, maybe like people like toxic significant uh, ex significant yeah. others, right? Where they'll just press these allegations online when they know they're a public figure Krishan and Blue so they Jesus. know it's going to hurt them right they're right. doing something emotional out, out, out of emotion rather than like uh like a like a, a, a like thinking about it logically right they're doing something out of emotion because they are just so emotional about the situation they're going to smear this person online and then you know maybe a year down a year or two down the line they're going to regret this right because yeah. this uh... No, I, mean, I do think most people that do this shit regret this shit because yeah, it makes them look like complete fucking but here's idiots. A bit of a problem. This guy hasn't uploaded for a year and his Twitch is dead. Okay. What does that have to do with anything? Uh, he's been in my so like so like dethroning someone that's been gone for a year? No, no, like, no, no, what no, kind no, of okay. does he have? I mean no, he's also relevant. he's no I also want to state that he also is a part of like a collab channel with like um, Slime Sickle and Tommy in it, and like a couple other people. So he's like part of that. He's also I believe a part po- like a podcast, and oh, he okay. he's, 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 he's just, I'm, I'm, I'm just, he just I just content. checked out his channel. Like maybe he's been making videos. Yeah, this he he, he hasn't made a lot of fucking here. streams or videos, but he's been a part of collaboration channels and stuff. Okay, that makes um, sense. And then. but like I think it's more or less not like you know all these people are trying to go. I think they're all these people are just pandering toward um to their fan base. I think that's the biggest thing. Because yeah. especially like their like the Dream S and P fan base is so like such a like vocal and uh I would say aggressive fan base when things don't go their way. They get fucking aggressive as shit. We saw that with the oh. Dream shit. Yeah. And I think that like people like Tubbo and like this Amzy girl and like Jack and like just Jack Banniful guy, all these fucking big creators are afraid to piss them off. Um, that's why they're all going against Wilbur because they're afraid. I think they're all pandering to their onions because they want to be looked at as good and not be called yeah. as fucking, you know, called abuser d- defenders or some shit. Um, yeah. Like that's what people are doing to me because I'm being critical of this and people are calling me the like I'm defending abuse. They're doing it to with everyone else who's criticizing the situation. So well, I mean, that's I that think... the whole. I, I also think it's all their fucking fault for cultivating um, a fucking audience like that. Yeah, I don't. I... I don't you think you would defend abuse. Like I Yeah, think... no, no. Yeah, like But I, I think the most You don't look like thing... wife beater. Uh no. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I man. Think... Think your thing. I think given the most Say given, it, go. given Ant did defend Paradise, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. I think the most important thing, look, and, and this is just my perspective, and this is just how I conduct myself in any manner or form of any yeah. situation, it, whether it be IRL or I uh, on the internet, is you gotta show me some shit, dude. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, and, the mo- and the person <laughs> showing me the most shit. I'm obviously gonna take their side because oh, yeah, they're brother. providing providing shit that substantiates their claims. If I you're think... not gonna substantiate shit, you're fucking you're probably you're gone, you're, buddy. You're probably gone. You're, you're done for. I also need to state this. There's also um there's also a couple other people saying that like he would do the biting thing, not like to the extent that they did Shelby, but like he would do the biting thing to them. Um but again, like they haven't shown anything. It's just their testimonies, so it's just more testimonies. But um, so I, I think it's like okay if you like lean like okay, I can maybe like see it maybe be Wilbur more is more likely. But saying like for hundred percent fact, I don't think we need to do. We should be doing that yet. Yeah. But yeah, again, I, there's also like like with the Dream situation, we have multiple people come out against Dream and like multiple multiple people with actual screenshots um, of shit. But most of those have been proven false. So. Yeah. Just because a lot of people come out does not mean that it's like, okay, well, look, looks like we can do it. I mean, same thing happened, I think, with, like, uh, Super Mega. So, it's, I mean, multiple people came out saying how sh- shitty they were. Um, so, but found out that it was a fucking coordinated attack against them. So, it's like, I, like, I don't think, like, I have an insane take, but some people on fucking Twitter and, like, some of my, like, on my streams have been, like, getting all fucking all mad like one of them came in my chat was like 
doesn't look like you know what you're talking about, and you can't talk about this because you're a man. I was like, what the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this whole situation has been fucking going crazy. Um, I'm just kind of waiting for more information on both sides. Because, um, yeah. But that's pretty much all I got to say about it. But. Hmm. I mean, right. as far as. Wait, you can go, Leia. No, you go. I was going to say, what What are your guys' final thoughts? Go. Well, on the Wilbert situation, I think it's my my perspective, and I think this is my main perspective on anything, is I'm kind of just sitting here with the, the information I got. I think you look like a fucking idiot. Uh, you kind of look like a kind of a creep. I mean, at the end of the day, consensual shit yeah. between a relationship is just what it is what it is. You can't provide that it is consensual in that summer fashion because it could be verbal. You know, like I've I've been in long term relationships, so like not a lot of shit said through through text. You know, a lot of things can be verbalized, things can be mm-hmm. consented to. Um, so I think a lot of this is when it comes to personal relationships is hard because mm-hmm. it, it you could you're not there personally, and when people are putting shit out on the internet, it can be it can be skewed either way, right? But as long as um. Wilbert comes out with his side and tries to at least exonerate himself a little bit to make mm-hmm. himself look a little better, I think is better than anything, right? I, I think I, I really hate when creators are like, I'm going to wait two, three months to a year to to exre- uh, address these allegations that are smearing my name, making me look like a horrible fucking person. I hate that. Why don't you come out a week later? Take a break. Simmer down. Take everything that's coming in. Write down what you your thoughts into a Google Doc, and then and then provide the information into a video or a live stream that people can digest and understand from your perspective, rather than this one sided narrative that people are putting on Twitter or YouTube or anything. I think this dumb fucking shit where I'm gonna take a break is just fucking retarded. You need to address this shit while it's still relevant. Yeah, and that's probably my my mm-hmm. main take. Yeah. I think right. like uh, another thing I do want to say is like a lot of people are saying like Wilbur admitted to uh, being an abuser or doing the biting thing. When yeah, I I'm heard like, that. I'm like, no, 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 no. I was like, look at the fucking response. All right, what he admitted to was being a slobbish, fucking a rude piece of shit. That's what he admitted to. He didn't oh. admit to the biting. Like what he said is that he like he admitted to biting, but he admitted that he said that it was consensual and that it was enjoyed on both parties. So, people saying that he fucking admitted or fucking taking that and like that whole response and fucking twisting it to high heaven. <laughs> um, but yeah, the yeah, that's pretty much all I got about it. But yeah. So uh, I, I did see like the whole, I did see the whole response where people are because yeah. I went and looked at Larry's comments just to see what was oh. happening because I I heard that he was fighting retards. Um, yeah. And people were like, "Oh, well, he confessed," and I was, I was wondering about that. So he, uh, ju- <laughs> so they assumed just because he acknowledged that he was sloppy, yeah, a messy li- like housekeeper shit. or whatever, yeah, yeah, that that confirms the allegations. That's yeah. so stupid. Yeah, what that's is the like, logic well, behind that? It's just brain dead. I mean, they're taking what they want and running with it. I mean, they're, yeah. I mean, these are the same people who are taking like out of context clips of like him. Uh, like there's a there's like a there's a clip going around of you remember like Technoblade the fucking Minecraft YouTuber who sadly died of cancer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so Wilbur was friends with him, and there was a time where they were at hit Techno's house, and this is like right after Techno got surgery on his shoulder, and um, the, Techno had a fucking apple tree, and um, Wilbur went to go pick apples for him and throw it in the basket while Techno was on the ground, um, and. Techno made a comment that like Wilbur's fucks fucking sucks at throwing. So Wilbur as a joke was gonna like fucking just pelt a fucking apple at him and yeah. try to hit him in the stomach as a joke, but it hit him in the shoulder where he had surgery and he I mean, you know, and Wilbur on the clip fucking laughed about it. And a lot of people are like, see, he doesn't care about fucking his friends. He fucking will hurt any of his friends. He's a fucking piece of shit. And it's like true. It's like, what the fuck? I mean, there was another clip of like um, Tommy in it, who these like Tommy in it and, and this YouTuber Tommy in it and fucking Wilbur like have stated like they're they act like they like they feel like they're brothers to each other. And Tommy was like in the video was like trying to untie Wilbur's shoe as like a 
to fuck with him, and Wilbur fucking stomped on his hand um, to get back at, like, you know, tell him to fuck off. And yeah. people are taking that as like, he's an abusive piece of shit. He doesn't care about his friend's feelings. He's a fucking piece of shit. Look at him. And I'm like, you're just taking, you're fucking clip chipping the fuck out of this shit. I mean, you're yeah. just twisting fucking shit. So these are the same people who do that. So I'm like, they're just really trying to make, they're making Wilbur look as bad as they possibly can. So yeah. it's Ironically, fucking crazy. Ironically, lyrics is not helping. Because when, <laughs> yeah. when he was debating retards, two out of the three people he had call in ripped the shit out of lyrics. Yeah, I, mean, I did. <laughs> so I will say, like, there, it, you can only do the women L narrative or dumb whore narrative mm -hmm. so many times before people catch on. And I think that's what people are kind of doing with lyrics is like, he, he's just like, oh, yeah, this, this girl's a dumb whore. And uh -huh. like, just dismissing it. And people are finally like, well, you kind of always do this. So, yeah, but that's just my opinion. No, oh, yeah, no, yeah, I get that. Uh, um, anyway, do you have anything else to say about the Wilbur stuff, or what's going on? Uh, I do want to specifically ask you. Um, okay. do you take Wilbur's side, or are you kind of neutral? Are you just kind of like sitting, waiting, kind of for the information itself, or yeah. are you like bias? Um, so I would say, like, I'm trying to stay as neutral as I can because I want to wait for more information. That's why I'm not confident calling him, like, fucking abuser or saying that Shelby's a fucking lying or anything. But I will say, um, with some of the things I've seen and some of the behaviors, I will say it, I could lean toward more that Wilbur is a abuser than the other way, just because from what I've seen. Um, I mean, you, you can make that on the assumption yourself, but I'm not confidently going to call him yet that yet, but I can kind of lean toward that a little bit, so... Uh, yeah, just because like the like the evidence I've seen, like the evidence are just like the behaviors I've seen, um, and um, multiple other people saying it's happened. Uh, I can kind of lean toward Shelby's side of the story a little bit better, a little bit more, but I'm not confident to lean 100 percent to call her call him a fucking abuser yet. I because Wilbur hasn't done fucking jack shit to like help me lean toward him a little bit. Mm -hmm. He's just like he like he made a really fucking shit response that sounded like it apparently possibly was even made from. Jet GPT apparently, um, at least that's that's what some people were saying. That was like ninety percent or eighty percent um, AI well, made. Well, but people uh, need to start banning Chat GPT. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Right yeah, we we need. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should all use it as a lawyer. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Totally. <laughs> I'm gonna call it my lawyer, Jet GPT, or fucking Ask AI. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, so I have, gonna, I have Bradley, a... whose side are you on? Who me? Yeah. Fuck, dude. I don't even Fuck. know. I don't even know what to believe. Honestly, I think it's all gay, 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 <laughs> gay, bro. What a beautiful <laughs> take. So dumb, bro. What a beautiful take. Taking allegations and running with it. I hope all of you look fucking stupid when this shit comes out, and none of this actually happened. It'd be fucking crazy. Okay, the Biden yeah. Was actually alive. That would be fucking funny. Bro, imagine how dumb everyone would look fucking. I know, that would oh, be fucking crazy. Say, so say it does. So, okay, say Wilbur did this shit, right? Like, he fucking was mm -hmm. abusive to his friends, abusive to his girl, was biting the shit out of her without consent, stuff like that. Say he did do this shit, right? Yeah. What the fuck are any of you guys on the platform going to do about it? Because there have been people on this platform that have done way worse. Uh -huh. so I would have, a few of them arguably, arguably like Mini should Lad be, should be in yeah. Mini Lad. EDP still floating around the area. Yeah, you're not. Yeah, you're right. Like, what the fuck are you well, guys gonna get? Right, oh, 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 hold on. Uh, I, would, I would say that look because at, unlike Logan Mini Paul, Lad, bro, EDP look at Logan Paul banned. and what he did. Unlike EDP, EDP, unlike Mini Lad, EDP did get banned. So like, let's not like put EDP but in he's the not picture. In jail. He's not he got. He got what he got. There was no judge. Dude, he he's was... just freaking <laughs> hanging out with Shadman and Tipster. Like, what are you talking about? Tipster. <laughs> Shadman's a fucking girl now, bro. What? Oh. All right, all right. So, right, maybe okay, EDP wait, was, wait, was wait. Get, gotten rid of. Chill, chill, chill. Bro, but we've also gotten rid of people like Leafy's here, while we still have people like Mini Lad and Logan Paul on the platform. You know what I what? mean? What? Oh, okay, never mind. Dude, so like, uh, like. Uh -huh. EDP four four five is just like hanging out with Shad Woman and Tipster. Really? Woman. 
Yeah, like they're just chilling it up. Wait, all the time. Like, Watching where? Wally. Okay, <laughs> to at least Shoda. Yeah, that's crazy. What is Shoda? Your Mongo Sensei with to, lyrics. To at least yeah. round out this episode. <laughs> to at least round out this episode. Does anybody Shoda have was. any? What is Shoda? <laughs> Shota is literally the opposite Shota. of Lollicon. It's literally yeah. just boy, boy Lollicon. Right? Boy Soprano. Oh. <laughs> yes, but okay. Gay. To round out this episode, does anybody have any final statements on the Wilbert uh sh- situation? I, I do. I, no, I do. I do. I have a big like number. Like Dream was liked by like, by everyone, and t- you know what I mean. You mean like even when he basically proved all the pedophile allegations wrong, right? Right. People were still calling him a pedophile. So in the end of the day, even if Wil- Wilbur somehow beats the allegations, there's already the schizo fans out there. They're already going to do what they did to Dream, where they're going to repeat it until it's dead. Dream's a pedophile. Dream's still a pedophile. Dream's a groomer. Wilbur's an abuser. Wil- Wilbur likes to beat women. Be- that's still going to happen. So yeah. It, yeah. in the end of Same. the day, it, it's going to happen. What they did to Dream, they're going to do with him. It's all it's gonna yeah. be because these Minecraft fans are all schizophrenics. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So true. I, well, I, I think that's everyone's final statement on this situation. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and well, at least we tried, and hold hopefully on, we on, see you guys on. next oh. time. Wait, 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 Lamp. What do you think? Thanks, Lamp. Appreciate you. That was a great take. I believe you. <laughs> okay. Oh, so well, now I know why you guys do it because it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, at least we tried, and hopefully, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, yeah. Peace. Okay. That-